वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट इन फार्मास्यूटिकल केमिस्ट्री टू लैबोरेटरी माय सेल्फ मिसेस उर्मिला रविंद्र गवड़ी एम फार्म इन क्वालिटी एश्योरेंस टेक्निक टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डील्स विद एक्सपेरिमेंट नंबर 19 दैट इज द टाइटल फॉर एक्सपेरिमेंट इज टू परफॉर्म एंड रिपोर्ट आइडेंटिफिकेशन टेस्ट ऑन गिवन सैंपल ऑफ सल्फामिथॉक्सो एज पर इंडियन फार्माकोपिया लर्निंग आउटकम फर्स्ट इंटेलेक्चुअल स्किल to develop understand concept of the experiment to analyze and interpret the observation motor skill ability to write systemic analytical report ability to handle equipment take and record observation ability to refer standard literature and indian pharmacopeia let's start with concept proposition first organoleptic description it is the information in respect of nature odor and taste of the drug proposition 2 solubility statement of solubilities are indicated by a descriptive term and are intended to apply at 20 degree celsius to 30 degree celsius the following table indicates the meaning of the term used in the statement of approximate solubility this is the table which shows the approximate solubility description very soluble that means it is soluble in less than 1 ml of the solvent freely soluble that means it is soluble in between 1 to 10 ml of solvent soluble it is soluble in 10 to 30 ml of solvent sparingly soluble it is soluble in 30 to 100 ml of solvent slightly soluble that means it is soluble in 100 to 1000 ml of solvent very slightly soluble that means it is soluble in 1000 to 10000 ml of solvent insoluble or practically insoluble more than 10000 ml of solvent is required then proposition 3 identification test there are tests to verify that the article being examined is in accordance with the label on the container failure of an article taken from the label container to meet the require of prescribed identification test indicate that the article may be mislabeled or substituted these tests are not necessarily sufficient to establish the absolute proof of the identity proposition 4 pharmaceutical category pharmaceutical category of the drug deals with its pharmaceutical and medicinal uses like antibacterial now general concept structure regarding the identification test first we have to perform description of the test after that perform solubilities in the different solvent and perform identification test as per ip then result may be sample complies or does not complies the test as per ip apparatus required for the practical glassware thalls tube test tube capillary chemicals alcohol 95% acetone sodium hydroxide solution ether sodium nitrite solution hydrochloric acid to naphthol solution in alcohol now move towards laboratory for actual step wise procedure welcome dear friends in pharmaceutical chemistry to laboratory today we are going to do this with experiment number 7 and the title of this practical is to perform an identification identification test on the given organic sample of sulfamethoxazole as per ip let's start with step wise procedure for identification test start okay let's continue with step wise procedure for identification test first test is description description of compound it is a white amorph white color amorphous powder and it is odorless let's start with solubility test solubility test can be performed in different solvent we have to take one to two mg sample approximately and add water shake properly for solubility In water, sulfamethoxazole is pretty soluble. Hmm. Start. 
the objects you will get in alcohol. Again, take the sample and add alcohol. 2 to 3 ml. Start. Then check solubility in chloroform. In chloroform, it is very slightly soluble. Solubility in ether. Take sample. Add it in ether or ether. is very slightly so we work in ether. How much time? And now, check the solubility in alkali hydroxide, that is sodium hydroxide solution. Take sample. For the sodium hydroxide solution, we do this. with 0.05 gram or 5 milligram of sulfamethoxazole solution and dissolve it in 10 ml of dilute one mole of hydrochloric acid. this solution with 10 ml of water. This is the solution. With 10 ml of distilled water. The resulting solution without further acidification tested for presence of primary aromatic amine. To above solution, add 0.2 ml of sodium nitrite solution. 0.2 ml of sodium nitrite solution. 
Wait for two minutes. Okay. After two minutes, we have to add one ml of two, two natural solution into this solution. like this so that sample get uh, inside tap this on the wall of a triplet Like this only 3 to 5 milligram of sample we have to insert it into capillary tube. After inserting then tie this capillary with the thermometer with the help of thread and then put it into the thigh tube containing liquid bag. Okay. We are tying the capillary tube containing solid organic compound to the thermometer and then immerse this thermometer with liquid sample, uh, with solid sample in thighs to containing liquid diamond. Only 50% of capillary tube uh, should be immersed into the liquid diamond. Then start heating on low, low, low level so that even and constant heating should be provided to the Heating should be slowly so that uniform heating is occurring. Thighs to and paraffin uh, liquid is uniformly heated so that we get sharp and um, proper melting point. Okay. Now, sulfamethoxazole powder is getting converted slowly into liquid form. When it completely converted into liquid form, at that time stop the heating and immediately record the observation now it is started for boiling oh, sorry melting it's okay 
Now temperature is 165 degrees Celsius. Solid gate completely converted into liquid form. Stop heating and record temperature. It is 169 degrees Celsius. That means our compound that is sulfur methoxazole having melting point at 169 degrees Celsius. Now let's see concluding part. We are performing today identification test for sulfamethoxazole and uh, observation is we check description, nature, color, odor that is amorphous nature, white crystal and powder and it is odorless that means it complies the test as per IP then solubility we check solubility in different solvent that is water, acetone, alcohol, chloroform and alkali hydroxide solution that means it also complies the test as per IP and identification test in test A orange dye stuff color is observed and melting point of the given compound is 170 degrees Celsius that means sulfamethoxazole also complies the test for sulfamethoxazole as per IP now the result for today's practical is the given sample of sulfamethoxazole complies the test A and B as per IP and the category of sulfamethoxazole is antibacterial. Thank you. Thank you for attending my practical session. Thank you.